Our next speaker up I am delighted to introduce is Jack Dr. Jackie Thielen. She's an assistant professor of medicine and consultant here in Jacksonville, Florida for the past year, although Rochester really still claims her as their own. Um, her clinical interests include menopause and sexual health as well as cancer and sexual health. And she's helping to launch a women's health center here in Jacksonville, which will be coming soon. Uh, thank you, Shannon, and uh, thank you, um, course directors, for the invitation. It does feel a little weird to be giving a talk in now my new backyard. Um, and uh, I would have to say that Rochester will always be home. Um, I have no disclosures today. I will be discussing the objective today is to talk about preventive testing in menopausal women. And so that's sort of that woman who's 50 to 55. Um, I would have to also uh, appreciate the course directors to have a panel that's all non-gynecologists. Uh, needless to say, I'm feeling a little intimidated by being um, in a group of all gynecologists. Um, as an internist, my life is about not just the bikini part of women, but all of women. And for most of you, actually, even as gynecologists, you're sort of stuck as I, uh, as I would say, like most of us internists, you still have to pay attention to all the other parts too, because a lot of women are coming to you often as their only touchstone in their health, and so you're having to act like primary care providers as well. So hopefully this um, next 18 minutes will sort of talk about what you might want to supplement some of those visits with. Um, I want to also acknowledge, of course, that women are different than men. Uh, surprise, surprise, yes, but this goes beyond just the reproductive tract. Uh, we are having increasing research that recognizes that women's physiology is different in men, than men in many areas, uh, cardiovascular, GI. Um, I know that we've had some other talks previously that alluded to some of these things, um, even excuse me, drug metabolism is uh, something that we're all coming to terms with, that women aren't necessarily going to react and uh, be the same as men. So uh, it's not just about picking the drug for disease anymore, it's picking the right drug for the individual that's sitting across from you at the desk. This slide was really just a reminder to look beyond the biological differences, but at the same time recognizing that every cell has a sex. And so that is going to impact not just testing,